Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now, today we're going to be talking about indexing, but then we're going to be going into the nitty gritty because I have a number of questions. I'm going to be taking a question from Unkono in Zimbabwe. Now, he wants to know can we use your strategy to index stocks? Can we use your strategy to index stocks? Now, here's the thing yes, you can. You can use the strategy to index stocks. But the thing is, why reinvent the wheel? There's already an index for stocks that really works. You know, so you have the S and P 500. It's an index for stocks, and it works. And then, you know, when you talk about the Nasdaq, what do you think the Nasdaq is? The Nasdaq is actually an index. You know, it's an index. So it's an index of stocks and mostly technological stocks. So there's already an index, the five one, the S and P 500, and there are other indexes. There's uh, the Fortune 100 index. There are other indexes. There's the Bloomberg index. So it's not wise to reinvent the wheel. Because stocks are different from cryptos. Cryptos are, they're more risky assets. So they're very volatile, they go up and down. So with stocks, if a stock has pumped, it can still pump further. But if a crypto has pumped, yeah, it can pump further, but it's more likely to go down. So the thing with uh, crypto indexing is that you want to know which crypto is going to pump before it pumps, or which crypto is already pumping and is still gonna pump. But with an index for stocks, for instance, you know, you have stocks, stocks tend to keep their value for a long time. That's why if you look at the S&P 500, companies that invest using the S&P 500, they normally have an algorithm that tells them what time of the day to invest and then they do their investment once a day. But then with crypto, you do your investment several times in a day. So you buy and then you sell that same day. With stocks, it's not really like that. You know, Sometimes you can't even buy a stock or share and sell that same day. So the variables are different. The variables are different. A lot of things affect the prices at the value of a stock, for instance. For instance, maybe you have good news coming out of a company. It affects the value of the stock. You have bad news coming out of a company. It, it affects the value of a stock. Not so much with a crypto. So for instance, now with a crypto, you know, they have they got a white paper. Now, it's not like they have a product that they're selling. Crypto is just an alternative form of money. So they don't have a product that they're selling. So unless something catastrophic happens, like maybe what's happening right now with Binance and then with their CEO, Cheng Pang Zhao, it's really not going to affect the price of the crypto. What affects the price of cryptos basically is demand and supply. How many small, medium scale and the large enterprises are accepting the crypto? What is the use case for that crypto? What is the white paper? What is the future for that crypto? How are they making plans to make sure that their blockchain technology is up to tomorrow, not just up to date? So those are the kinds of things that affect crypto. With stocks, you know, like markets closing, markets opening, it affects stocks. But then with crypto, what are you, what you, I mean, what are you looking for? It doesn't matter. You see, crypto by itself is an alternative, alternative form of money. So if you have a company like Apple, Apple, they're making products. So they're making products, they're, factory in China could catch fire, it's going to affect the stock price. Or maybe there was some insider trading in Apple, it's going to affect the stock price. Or maybe you had a situation where maybe there was, there's going to be a shortage of their raw material, it's going to affect the stock price of Apple. But with crypto, it's just money. You know, so it is a means of exchange. It is not a good or a service per se, it's just a means of exchange. So the variables are very, very different. So what I would counsel Nkono and other people who want to index uh, stocks and shares yeah you can do it you can do it but it's much better to just mimic the trades of the s p 500 and you can do it you can actually go on the s p 500 website and then you can subscribe and then you can mimic the trade or you can actually buy into an index fund you have a number of companies like the vanguard russell you know companies that deal in just the s p index so they invest your money so they have a pool of client funds and then you just you know, pay, to pay money to that pool and all that money is invested in the S&P 500, it's better to do it that way. So indexing on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, on a I mean, quarter of an hourly basis is more suitable for cryptocurrency because of the volatility of cryptocurrency and because of the risk involved. So having said that, when we're looking at cryptocurrency today, we're looking at indexing, which are the cryptos that are going to rise, which are the cryptos that are going to pump, which are the cryptos that have promised to make you money? Well, today, just like yesterday, I will say that at the very top is going to be BSCEX, BSCEX, otherwise known as BSC Exchange. 
Now, it's, yeah, yeah, remember yesterday I told you about it. It was up over a thousand percent. And I told you, if you put some money on BSCEX, you're going to make some money, like maybe between 25 to 30 percent. Well, I was right and I was wrong. Actually, if you had put in money yesterday, what I told you to make, uh, put in money, you would have made 68 percent because that's how much it has risen by today. Actually, you'd have made more than 68 percent because it did rise for, for the yesterday. And then today, it has, right, it has risen by 60%. So probably you'd have made almost 100% if you had put some money in BSCEX. So BSCEX is still up. I still see that it, 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 there's still room for growth. I think that if you put money now, you can get maybe between 5 and 10%, but that's the limit. I don't see it going further up more than that. So I think it's going to start to go down by maybe midday today. Now, also, I think that uh, well, let's say Shadow. Shadow is a very good crypto because if you're looking at the volume of transaction that has taken place in the last 24 hours, Shadow is a very good crypto. It has a white paper. It's on the good exchanges. And then we're seeing that there's the laws of demand and supply are in its favor. So Shadow is up currently by about 37%. I see it going up by about 15% more. So that's going to take it about 52% more. If you put in money right now, this is my personal opinion. Remember, it's not financial advice. But if you put in money right now, I think you can get uh, probably a profit margin of about 15% from Shadow. Now, yesterday we saw Cyber Harbor doing well. Cyber Harbor is still doing well today. It's up 9%, 9.8%. And I think it's still going to pump up some more until it gets up to about 30%. So there's a room for growth of about 20% if you put some money on uh, Cyber Harbor. And then finally, I think that you know, if you see what's happening right now with Binance, you know, they're kind of like halting a dollar because, you know, in the United States, they've got about 20,000 uh, Bitcoin and other, other crypto ATMs. And it has been like a freeze because of the challenge that the Security and Exchange Commission is having with Binance. So there's been a freeze on Binance account where you can withdraw if you're outside of the United States, but you cannot withdraw a dollar withdrawals. So, I mean, like that concerns me. So I have to tell my subscribers, you know what? Try to look for another exchange if you're going to be buying these cryptocurrencies or any cryptocurrency for that matter. Try to look for another exchange until we have some clarity about the future of Binance. You know, so you can go on Coinbase, you can go on Ruby, you can go on OKX, you can also go on eToro, on Kraken, or you go on peer to peer. For now, I would say just watch and see what happens with Binance because they haven't been able to resolve their challenges with the U.S. authorities. Gary Gensler is still talking tough. That's the CEO of the Securities and Exchange Commission in the United States. He's still talking tough. But, I mean, what's happening with Binance has also affected the price of Bitcoin. You know, so Bitcoin has lost something like 6% of its value. And, you know, we don't want to, I don't want my subscribers to put their money into Binance, an exchange that might be, uh, I mean, it might be having some serious issues. So that's what I would tell you. So for where to park your money so you can pack money out, BSCX, Shadow, and then Cyber Harbor. Now, you can also try Ergo. I think Ergo is also good. You know, but the thing about Ergo is that the room for growth is not that much. Maybe you're looking at at most probably 10%. But then Ergo is the possibility. Now, if you watch this video, maybe you have questions arising from it. Maybe because I talk too fast, or maybe because, you know, you don't like my face or maybe my accent is funny but i'll tell you put your questions in the comment section of this video but you have to remember beware of spammers and scammers i will never give you a contact number to contact me i'll never ask you to uh, probably send any money to me or to give me your money to invest those guys are spammers and scammers yes they got my image you know they download my photos and they put fake youtube profiles to try to deceive you you gotta be careful now this is apostle prosperity saying god bless you no travels all around the world I hope you get inspired about what you see I was full of greatness Reno is a master Only one man against the old world in large Fighting with the monsters Poverty I can't stand That's why Reno is a